Hey guys, Legion here. In this video, I will be going through all of the newest species from the latest DLC, ranking them, going from my least favorite to my favorite from the DLC, and also giving you my favorite skins for all of them. Also, this gold kill is what happens with you if you don't subscribe. Anyway, starting off with my least favorite species from this DLC, the one and only, the only and one, Sagisaurus. Now the Sagisaurus is my least favorite creature from this latest pack, uh, which doesn't mean that I don't like it, I'm actually, I'm actually kind of surprised by just how much I ended up liking it, because in the trailer I was pretty disappointed that we are getting something like this, which is just so similar to the Silophysis, which we already have in the game, but uh, it ended up just being a, a lot tinier than the Silophysis, sort of being just a bit bigger than the Compi, and now basically it's uh, sort of fulfills the niche of being a better Compi in a way, and I think it's a an okay creature to have, it's nothing really special, nothing really new that we have in the game, um, but I think it's not bad, and yeah, I, I like this creature in general, but I don't think it's anything too special and not really worth to have it in the DLC, um, but the ba basically the actual reason why we got it in the game is uh, because of the Jurassic Park movie, because there was the Jurassic Park brochure and it was in there and it's sort of canon at this point and was I think also in the novels. Uh, so yeah, I think I like uh, the Sagisaurus, it also has nice skins, a fun social animation as well. Um, so yeah, this is probably like my favorite skin, something like this, I think this looks pretty good, but I also always like, you know, some brown skins with like a pop of color like this for example. So yeah, I'm giving the Sagisaurus right here a B tier, my least favorite creature from the pack. Next up we have another tiny one, uh, probably the most highly requested species uh, in the entirety of this game, the Microceratus. Next up we have the most highly requested creature we've ever seen in Evolution 2, probably the Microceratus. And ever since the first Dominion DLC came out and especially uh, since the Malta expansion came out, this species has been highly requested because it's the last uh, species from one of the Jurassic World movies that we still do not have in the game and now it's finally here and I have to say that I like how it turned out. I think, you know, it basically it just is the design from the movie. Uh, we also have the movie skins right here. We have the one from Dominion, from the Jurassic World timeline and then we have the one from the Jurassic Park flashback, um, if I remember correctly. So yeah, it's a really cute little species, sort of similar to the Homolocephaly in being just a tiny herbivore that's like walking on two hind legs um, but yeah I think it's really cute uh, it's gonna be unique in your parks we haven't really gotten a tiny ceratopsin before at all and also the skins for it are really nice probably my favorite is something like this again a brown skin with a pop of color with the really bright uh, purple frill or maybe even the screen frill also looks really nice um, but yeah I think the Microsweaters has some really good skins and uh, just it's it's kind of sad that it's again a tiny species, um, the second tiny species in this DLC, because you always just have to build specific you know tiny habitats for them to actually make them visible in their habitats. So yeah, I'm giving the Microceratus an A tier in my ranking. I'm just gonna shut up for this one. Just listen to the entrance music. Next up we have not the most highly requested species from this DLC, but uh, probably the second most requested and also the most hyped species from the DLC, the Megalodon, um, which was, uh, there was a lot of disappointment in the community when we first got a teaser for the marine species pack and it turned out to be the Dunkleosteus instead of the Megalodon, but now we have the Megalodon right here in our games and I have to say that it looks really really good. It's, it's basically just a big shark, but that's of course what it was and that's what makes it so awesome and why people love it so much. And I have to agree, I think also the skins, uh, I think they made a really good chance with the skins. You have some really basic ones like this if you use the blank pattern. But if you use a pattern, you can either get some subtle spots, you can get some stripes, um, but you can also have some really colorful spots and stripes or even something like this. And yeah, I personally really like this skin right here, just having the sort of gray um, shark or maybe even like this. 
the um, sort of darker gray shark and then having these white spots at the top and it really just makes it look like a whale shark to me which was one of my favorite animals as a kid and I just think whale sharks are awesome so seeing this like at the top of the lagoon looks really cool but yeah in general the megalodon is really awesome uh, it's an easy S tier for me it looks awesome swimming through the lagoon with the kelp especially which we got with this update as well and yeah you can make it super colorful if you want but you can of course just keep it looking like a regular shark as well. Now my favorite species from the DLC, the not Hetzegopteryx, the Thanatos Draco. And then last but certainly not least, my favorite species from the entire pack. And yeah, I, I just love the Thanatos Dracon. Ever since the trailer dropped, I knew this was going to be my favorite species from the pack. And it, it just turned out so well. Um, I've always wanted, also, I was also always in the camp of people who wanted a new and star kit. Of course, the Herzegoptrix was highly requested. And this is basically a Herzegoptrix. It's basically a similar thing. But they just decided to go with Thanatos Dracon right here, a lesser known species, which I think is always a cool thing, you know, educating people about species that they probably didn't know about before. And then also the skins are really nice um, for the Thanatos Dracon, especially like the design it has on its beak. It looks really, really good. I love the skins for this one, especially my favorite one is like something like this. Just uh, this skin pattern uh, in general with some of the dark half skins, it just looks so good. Uh, this blue right here, one of the best skins in the game probably. Yeah, I just uh, love its animations. I love um, just when it's sitting down especially. I love uh, its sleeping animation. It has probably the best joint feeding animation in the game. Um, you know, with uh, where it's sort of, they're like both sitting next to each other and then one throws up the fish and they both try to catch it. It's just awesome. So yeah, the Thanos Dragon is my favorite creature from this DLC. Another easy S tier for this one and for sure my favorite flying species in the entire game. So yeah, in general, I can say that I really do like this pack. I think the creatures are really nice, even though uh, the land creatures are all pretty tiny, which sort of makes them the least noticed species in this game. And yeah, the species are really good, uh, but not none of them are like really super unique i would say i think there are for sure packs you should prioritize buying before this like for example maybe the cretaceous predator pack or the feathered species pack which just have more unique species but in general this pack is for sure worth it and i really like it and i'm also surprised by how much i like it because when it was uh, first announced and it's really good, especially coming off after the hybrid DLC. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed me sort of talking about this DLC and giving my opinion about the creatures. Uh, comment your ranking of the species down below. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye.